Hi everyone and welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my marshmallow thumbprint cookies. They are so delicious, so wonderful and then we are going to be drizzling them with some white chocolate and some semi-sweet chocolate which we will melt a little later on and they are wonderful, so easy to make and perfect for the holidays or uh, any time that you are craving a cookie like this. So you also want to have your oven preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and let's go over our ingredients here. Okay so here we have some all-purpose flour, some salt and cinnamon, some vanilla extract, some marshmallows, regular white granulated sugar, some softened butter at room temperature, some packed brown sugar, honey. Now for the honey you can replace it with some regular maple syrup or you can also replace it with some light corn syrup. So those are some other options and of course we have here some white chocolate chips for after and some semi-sweet chocolate chips as well. So let's move on to making our cookies. Okay so the first thing we are going to do is cream our butter in both sugars. Very important that your butter is softened at room temperature. Okay. And we are going to cream this mixture until well combined. Okay, so you want to make sure that you have a nice, light, and fluffy um, batter at this moment. So probably two to three minutes. And now we are going to add in our vanilla and our honey. And make sure you keep scraping the sides and bottoms of your bowl whenever you feel you need to. And now we will mix until well combined. Okay, so now it's time to add it in our final ingredients. So what I'm doing here is just giving my dry ingredients a little mix before adding it in. Okay, this is good. And now we will just add it into our wet mixture here. and we will mix just until combined and you no longer see any visible dry ingredients. Our dough looks just great and now we are ready to have some uh, prepared cookie sheets lined with some parchment paper so that we can roll out our cookie balls. Okay, so now we are ready to roll out our cookie dough balls. Now, you want to use a small ice cream scoop, which is uh, the measurement of a tablespoon, or you can just use a tablespoon and scoop it out and roll them. It'll be the same thing. So, all we're going to do is take a scoop of dough, roll it into a little ball. Okay and place them on our prepared cookie sheet. Okay, so I'm going to continue on making my little dough balls here, and then when I'm done, I will show you the next step. Okay, so I have finished rolling out my uh, cookie dough balls here. Now what you wanna do is now make the indent with your thumb, which is what makes the cookie a thumbprint cookie. So what you're going to do is just press with your thumb down and then release. And then if you have any little cracks around the edges, just tighten it around so that it's nice and smooth. All right. And it's as simple as that. So I'm gonna continue making mine and then I'll meet you right back here. Okay, so now that we have finished uh, thumb printing our cookies, we will place these into our preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 minutes. Okay, so to slice our marshmallows, you want a non serrated knife because it'll be much easier to cut. And you just press it down in the middle like that. And 
you have your two marshmallow halves. So I'm going to continue on slicing my marshmallows and I'll meet you right back here as soon as our cookies are baked. Okay, so my cookies baked for exactly 12 minutes. Now you want to leave your oven still at 350 degrees Fahrenheit because we are going to place these back in once we have placed our marshmallow halves on top. So what we're going to do is cut side down. We are going to place on top of each cookie. Okay, so I'm going to continue placing my marshmallow halves on my cookies and then we're going to place them back into the oven for another three minutes and then I'll meet you right back here. I already have my chocolate melted here. This tray I'm going to use the semi-sweet chocolate and my other tray I will be melting the white chocolate. So I just want to show you so you have an idea. Okay, so I'm going to allow my chocolate to set a little bit and then we'll be ready to try one. Okay, so our cookies have been sitting here at room temperature for about 15-20 minutes and now we are most definitely ready to try one. They are simply delicious. They have an outer crunch on the edges of the cookie. In the middle, they are nice, soft, tender, and chewy. They give you um, s'mores vibes. You know, the flavor is just amazing. It is perfect and so easy to put together. Just one tip I wanted to share with you. When you're allowing your cookies to sit on the baking pan, you just want to leave them there for about uh, seven minutes or so before placing them on a cooling rack or else they will break on you. So they will be very soft and tender once they come out of the oven, but then they will start to firm up and become perfection. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new and delicious recipe. Share the recipe with your family and friends and I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Bye everyone.